Welcome back to our YouTube channel. In today's video, we are going to see another SQL interview question. And this question was asked in the company Cognizant. So let's begin first by viewing the question. So this is the question. Consider two database tables, employees and salary logs. So there are two tables. First one is employee table and the second one is salary logs table. Write an SQL query to find the employees who have had at least three consecutive salary increases. Display the employee ID, employee name, department and the periods during which the consecutive salary increases occurred. Okay, so basically uh, two tables are given employee and salary logs and you have to find out the employees who had at least three consecutive increase in their salaries. So this is the first table, employee table. There are four records only and you have the employee ID, employee name and department. There are two departments as you can see, HR and engineering department. Okay, and this is the second table, salary logs table. In this you have the data about the salary. So this is the log ID from 1 to 10. Then the employee ID that for which employee this particular log is there. And then the salary. So you can notice uh, employee ID 1 had a salary 3000. Then in the log 3, okay, in the log 3 you can see employee 1 has a salary of 3200. So his or her salary has increased by 200. So in such a way you have to find out the employees that have had at least 3 uh, increases in their salaries. Okay. So this is the sample output. You can see John and Bob are the employees who had or uh, increase in their salary. So 1 and 3, employee ID 1, you can see 1, the first salary was 3000, then 3200, and then 3500. So total uh, increases are there, okay, consecutive increases. And then for employee 3 as well, you can see 3000, then 3200, 3500. Okay. So this is the uh, sample output. So now let's move ahead with solving this query. I have already created the table, uh, employee table and salary logs table. Okay, so I am just uh, simply moving to the database. Uh, the script for creating the table and inserting data in it, uh, I have attached it in the description box. You can check it out and you can uh, use the script from there. So this is the employees table as you can see four records are present and then we have the salary logs table. So you see there are 10 records in this table. So two tables are created. Now uh, it is time to uh, write the query for that. Okay. So if you observe properly the salary logs table, then you will notice that uh, the log ID, okay, what you will have to do is, the, you have to just, just a second, okay, what you have to do is, you have to partition this data according to the employee ID, okay, and according to the salary as well. So you see, for employee ID 1, you have to just apply a partition. And according to the salary, you have to give this log ID certain rank or certain number or certain order, okay? And then you have to find out that which employee ID had three increases in their salary. So for that, now we are going to use a window function for that. And the window function that we are going to use is a partition, okay? Row number, row number we are going to use. And along with that, we are also going to use CTE. So, this is the CTE that we are creating. That is, name. its name is consecutive logs. As, so, what is the data that we, have, we are going to include in this CTE? So, now we are going to see that. The first one is the employee ID. Then the log ID and the salary as well. Uh, along with that, we are going to 
now use the window function which is row number over partition by employee id so we are going to partition the data based on employee id and salary and we are going to apply the row number okay we are going to apply the row number to the log id column and the name to this column okay this row number column will be group from salary logs so all this has to be done on the table salary logs okay so our ct has been created okay so after the ct now we will be seeing the further query that will in this query we are going to join the data from employees table and the data from this ct so i show you how so according to the question we have to display the employee id the employee name uh, the employee department okay so all these three information is present in the employees table okay so we have to use this table as well department comma count of star as period okay now what is this count star as period i'll show it, show it to you Okay, first we'll just write the query and see the output. This is the alias name that I'm using. And we're going to join this table, okay, the uh, employees table with the consecutive logs. See. On. So now we're going to use the common column to join uh, the two data. So the common column will be definitely employee ID because employee ID is also present in the employees table as well as in the CTE data. C dot employee ID. Now the C is nothing but an alias name for the consecutive logs. Okay, which is the CTE. So after joining, we are also going to apply group by. So now this group by is applied on employee ID, then on employee name, then on department And also on the group, okay. These are the four columns that we are going to extract. So group by is applied on it. And the last condition is the having condition where you only want the data where uh, the period, okay, is greater than three, which means greater than equal to three, which means there are at least three consecutive logs, okay. As mentioned in our uh, question, we want only three consecutive increases, correct? At least three. So this is the condition that we will be using to specify the condition given in the question. So now let's run this and first check the output. Okay, so you see these are the two employees, John and Bob. Okay, and it is matching to our sample output. These are the two employees that we want. Okay. John and Bob have uh, an increase in their salary three consecutive times. Now, let's understand the query. So, first we will be simply uh, beginning with the CTE that we have created. So, basically what we are doing in the CTE, we are just extracting the employee ID, the log ID and the salary. Okay, these three columns we have extracted. Along with that, we are extracting a group column. So what this group uh, will be doing is, we are applying row number over partition by employee ID and salary. Okay, order by log ID. So I'll just show you that what exactly this row number is doing. So this is our salary logs table, correct? We have three columns in that table. First one is log ID. Okay, then we have uh, employee ID. And then we have the salary. These are the three columns. Okay, and uh, the data that is the, which is present, I'll write down that as well. So we have this one, two, three, four, five. 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Along with that, the employee ID as well. One, two, 
वन टू वन वन देन वी हैव टू थ्री फोर थ्री फोर थ्री ओके एंड देन फाइनली द सैलरी वी हैव So I have written this entire salary log table over here. So now we are going to see that what exactly the row number is doing. So read the statement carefully. Row number over partition by employee ID and salary. So basically, what this partition by will do is it will create partitions among this employee ID and salary. So basically, it will see one. One one okay all the three one employee ID this is employee ID don't get confused one 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 it will be written together and then the salary okay so the first salary is three thousand then the second one is three thousand two hundred and third one is three thousand five hundred then next you have the employee ID two so two and two okay two times the number two is present. And then you have the corresponding salary three thousand five hundred, and then three thousand eight hundred. Next, we'll be moving to three, so three, three, and three, and then you have three thousand, three thousand two hundred, and three thousand five hundred, and finally you have four and four. So you notice it is creating certain partitions. Okay, it has created partition uh, in the employee ID and salary. Now what it will do is it will will move ahead to the next order by log ID. Now what is this order by log ID? That it will give a particular order to this log ID. So you see, ah uh, one and three thousand. Such data is present only one time. So it will give the number as one. This is the group column. Okay, this is the group column. Here, this group that is present, okay, this group is nothing but this group column. Now we we are writing the row number. So example, if this this would have been three thousand, okay, if three thousand three thousand data was present two times, then this group number would have been two. But it is present only one time. Okay, such data, such record where employee ID is one and salary is three thousand is present only one time. So the row number will be one time. Now, employee ID one and salary three thousand two hundred. It is also present one time, not two times. So this will also be one. So similarly, all the data, okay, all the combination of employee ID and salary, uh, is present only one time. So all the data over here will be one because nothing is repeated, correct? So everything will be one over here. So this is the group column that has been created. Okay. This will be the fourth column in the consecutive logs. In the consecutive logs, which is the CT. This is our CT. Okay. This will be the fourth column in that. If you want to check, we can check it also. I'll show you how. This particular, okay, this entire thing will be our output of the consecutive logs. I'll show it to you how. I'm just copying this, and we'll paste it over here. And we'll be selecting. Just select star from consecutive logs. Let's give another name to it. Uh, suppose uh, C one, okay, for ease only. So just we are selecting all the data from this CT. I'm I've not made any change in the CT, okay. So you see, as I showed you. There are four columns: employee ID and C. It is present in this form: C one 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 two two, then three 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 and four four. It is present in the partitioned form. Then you have the log ID. Log ID is also present in the similar way, and salary is present accordingly. For employee ID one, for log one, what is the salary? It is present accordingly, and then finally the group, the group column where all the data is one because. All combination of employee ID and salary is one time only, so it is present one. Okay, so this was the consecutive logs. Now next, 
what we have done is we joined the two data okay first one is the employee i uh, the data from the employees table and the next one is the data from this ct okay, so this you can see we are we are now selecting employee id employee name and department from uh, employees okay and we are joining it with the ct that we have created and after joining we just uh, we apply the group by on the employee id employee name and department and we selected the data for which the count is greater than 3 and this count star is nothing but the number of rows that come under uh, the condition which is true okay only the number of no rows they have counted you can check this also that uh, okay uh, what data it is getting just after joining you can check that also so after then you will understand what what exactly data it is getting after joining let's check that okay so i'm just uh, yeah here it is I'm not taking this uh, count, okay? Count star con uh, having condition. I'm not taking. I'll just show you that what you will get after joining. The CT is the same. I'm just adding it, okay? Adding the con uh, join condition over here. Just a second. C one, okay. This will also be C one. Yes, now it should work. Yes, so you see, uh, for each employee ID, for each employee name, you have counted the number of periods, okay? So this is 3, 2, 3, 2. And then after applying the having condition, you just extract uh, the data for which the period or uh, which the number of count, okay, count of rows is greater than or equal to 3. So it will extract only this two data, okay, for which the period is greater than or equal to 3. So this was the entire query. I, I hope you've understood this because it is a bit confusing as we have used CTE and window function together. But if you practice it and if you break down the query properly and execute it properly, you can also use a notebook and pen if you want. And you can, you know, draw the tables as I've done over here. And then you will uh, understand it clearly. Okay, if you have any doubts regarding to this, you can put it down in the comment section we'll uh, definitely try to solve it and if you have another way to solve this question you can also share that with us okay i hope you understood it please ask for any doubts or queries and thank you for watching this video uh, do share it with your friends if you have liked it and subscribe the channel if you haven't thank you